नमस्कार मैं विभव श्रीवास्तव शिक्षा सहायक राष्ट्रीय प्राणी उद्यान आज विश्व वेटलैंड दिवस के अवसर पर आप सभी का हार्दिक स्वागत करता हूं आज हमने वेटलैंड दिवस के ऊपर वेटलैंड डे के ऊपर एक टॉक रखा है विश्व की वार्ता रखी है जिसके लिए हमारे पास एक विश्व की मौजूद है टॉक शुरू करने के पहले मैं अपनी संयुक्त निदेशक महोदय श्री अनामिका मैडम से निवेदन करता हूँ कि वो कृपया हमको वेटलैंड के बारे में कुछ बताएं। गुड आफ्टरनून एवरीवन। Uh, today we all have gathered here to celebrate World Wetland Day, focusing on the wetlands actions for people and nature, which highlights the importance of actions to ensure conservation and sustainable use of wetlands for humans and planetary health. Wetlands they play a very important role in maintaining the natural water cycle, which not only support a healthy uh, biodiversity but is vital for our own survival also. the ecosystem services provided by wetlands are numerous and we they function as they do the function of ground water recharge water purification flood protection and protection of biodiversity so to know more about the wetlands today we have uh, with us Mr. T K Roy, he is an ecologist and conservationist working in the field of bird life, ecology, habitat conservation, and conservation education for more than 15 years. And he is associated with Wetlands International South Asia as A W C Delhi State Coordinator. He is also member of B N H S and Himalayan Club supporting bird life conservation in the country. so to uh, know more about the importance of wetlands and the and the conservation of water birds i would request uh, mr tk roy to take over and enlighten us with this uh, new uh, uh, vast experience in this thank you uh, thank you good afternoon madam uh, uh, your introduction uh, yes uh, i'm happy uh, you people are here uh today this is annually since uh, 1997 onwards is celebrating globally this world wetland day or hindi mein this vishwa adra bhumi divas to isme this is the main thing is today every year this is numerous kind of already you a short your briefing you told that importance of wetland for us not only for biodiversity for human being on the top also but since 1997 it's globally particular day being celebrated 
and every year uh, as per the numerous reasons so every year we put a certain kind of the swar body uh, the particular theme so this year theme already we announced and again under the theme lot of actions could be there so there are numerous things are there so today the particular topic aaj humne topic rakha hai this is uh, importance of woodlands for conservation of water birds to so biodiversity dekha jaye if we consider about the biodiversity so again numerous so far abhi biodiversity sare explore nahi ho paya so far biodiversity certain percentage of biodiversity so far explored phir bhi usme large number about i think two third uh one third of this uh, the species i think on wetlands to so, aaj humne particular this uh topic ke upar humne exactly action uh for people and uh, uh, this uh, the nature usme se one component hum choose kiya hai one component is this that among biodiversity is bird life also one of the very important component of the biodiversity or among the animals the water birds and largely hum consider bhi kare to water is almost uh puri world ke hisse mein uh one uh, third uh, the three portion is the water to water water mein biodiversity ka bhi jitni inki abundance hai, this is very large so every year i have seen keep exploring every year few thousand few we have few hundred they keep on exploring every year so i don't know how long it will take to explore the whole diversity we talk about water birds or uh, water related or aquatic animals biodiversity only so humne is uh, on this occasion i like to little bit introduce maybe some new new audience also might be new comers also so this shortly uh, people also know this as a ramsar convention uh, simply say because of 1971 all over the world people understood the nation understood the scientists understood that wetland is very important for our survival overall wherever water there is life is this water there's no life at all based on the 1990 1971 on 2nd february the same day today is celebrating the first kind of gathering organized in iran the particular place was ramsar the destination so by this name that they adopted this it should be a treaty and about now today i think more than 170 countries already the treaty of this convention india including this so 1997 said this is more just today is we cannot do much more but today is basically our aim is just to promote conservation awareness about wetland globally so that's why particular day may just one day kill different kind of activities different kind of programs different kind of talk basically the aim is now these days last few years now due to corona issue also very good invention also that now online we are being able to do these things and it was not possible so that day basically to promote largely globally that awareness of wetlands importance conservation of wetland and miscellaneous other issues about the wetland uske baad then another big organization wetlands international this is a global ngo also a partner organization iucn ye kaam kare se wetlands and water birds ke upar globally for conservation of wetland and water birds now india mein bhi in uh, they have different continents in offices hai to south asia ka office based in delhi to south asian region ki uh, wetlands conservation ke different projects and water birds conservation ke upar this organization working so i am part of this organization to aaj whatever you chosen this now that wetland is very important because what are not only for this for human being we are on the top naturally but overall biodiversity simply in, sim- in simple word we can say there is no water no no animals there is no no life at all so might be plants might be animals any any feature anyway so this is what is very important for survival for everyone now today's action for people and nature again if you consider this uh, wetland and water birds also part of nature one component of nature and today i have chosen because i am involved more in the uh, uh, avifauna bird life and uh, your national zoological park also part of this because you have also smaller kind of four wetlands and there are a lot of species of biodiversity are there and largely the uh, uh, bird life avifauna last some years 
many years all used to be done this your annual one asian water bird census in between the uh, several years uh, due to lack somewhere this was uh, dropped the again i restarted of this i think about 10 years back so it's continuing again globally so every year this is small wetland doesn't mean the wetland is which is, which supports the life the biodiversity and uh, the water for us human being this is important maybe small wetland maybe small pond maybe ocean maybe bigger animal bigger uh, wetland and wetland there is different definition simply any wetland which supports water water body or water maybe perennial maybe temporarily or seasonal that could be considered wetland it could be a deep wetland it could be marshland could maybe be smaller kind of wetland also so on consideration on this base aaj humne se small one component choose kiya hai that because this is very relevant i found it because mr khan curator is very interested about this his interest uh, uh, he just responded uh, just uh, told me and immediately i responded yes every year in your cooperation in cooperation this national zoological park we have annually once that event we are organizing just i think a few days back we already conducted this session water bird census just to get the wetland status we take different parameters wetland status and water birds water birds again see how many are there was there what is the reason is increasing or decreasing kind of threats kind of other problems global issues as much as possible so that so that it can be sustainable way it can help your man तो इसमें हमने आज रखा है दिस इज चूज एन ऑनली पर्टिकुलर कंपोनेंट कि कंजर्वेशन ऑफ वोटलैंड जब सबके लिए है फॉर एवरी वन एवरी लिविंग थिंग्स एवरी बायोडाइवर्सिटी फॉर ह्यूमन बींग तो हमने कंजर्वेशन ऑफ वोटलैंड फॉर वाटर बर्ड्स हमने वन थीम वी हैव चूज इन टूडे नाउ सिंपली दैट वोटलैंड इज सो इंपॉर्टेंट स्टिल अंडरस्टैंड दैट पीपल स्टिल नॉट अवर today people's literature rate is quite higher people know about the wetland uh, this our water is the main uh, uh, the uh, component for our survival any anything any living thing but still people are misusing the water today lot of wetlands getting vanished day by day if you consider delhi delhi is there are few hundreds i think wetlands 2000 more than 1000 wetlands existed earlier but if you see present status now already every state they have the wetland authority independent government authority who's responsibility is just to explore on record how many wetland may be smaller to bigger is existing today on record certain measurement certain numbers and certain measurement according to wetland new the rules has come out in 2017 wetland conservation management rule 2017 it should be notified so that much importance hone ke baad bhi still we see that people are not much aware about the wetland's importance रेडिली पानी मिलता है तो हमें हम सोचते हैं जनरली मोर पब्लिक कि हमें पानी तो रेडिली मिल रहा है तो हमें बाकी चीज की क्या जरूरत है बट यस वी आर ऑन टॉप बट अदर बायोडाइवर्सिटी कंपोनेंट्स दिस आर वेरी मच रिलेटेड टू अस उनके सर्विस अगर नहीं मिलेंगे उनकी एग्जिस्टेंस नहीं होंगे तो लॉट ऑफ सर्विस हमें मिलेंगे नहीं सो विल बी सफर ऑलरेडी हम सफर हो रहे लॉट ऑफ स्पीशीज ऑलरेडी एक्सटिंग हो चुके हैं सेवल स्पीज ऑलरेडी एक्सटिंग फ्रॉम द ग्लोब so uh, species already uh, in the brink of extinction already as per iucn i am also part of uh, in two committees of iucn also so they are already their indication alarm that about 40 40000 species living species is plants animals still in the brink of extinction so until we consider the issue that wetlands is very important we should conserve this we should take care we should uh, consider water is the prime thing for living things hum isko bachana hai hame whatever wetland existing hum isko bachani hai then only we can think of that biodiversity will be sur uh, survived will be conserved and vice versa jo inka uh, this uh, the service hame milta hai hame then service we can get it now simply if we consider now one component the water birds baki birds hum nahi le rahe baki animals we are not considering today for half an hour short to talk to awareness people that water birds this is very important because large area covers in the globe is water bodies so naturally their number also on aquatic uh, biodiversity is very very large very high 
huge number. So one company is Waterbirds. Simply Waterbirds in 2000 Millennium report. This is uh, world uh, uh, scientific uh, um, uh, communities. There after research 2000, it was considered adopted that bird life very important. I who services four kind of eco services to human being for us directly and indirectly. Since then, we understood that the importance of bird life. And today we are talking about water birds. Again, there are the water birds there on see the consideration, the difference between their survival, their habitat, their everything on wetland only. There might be again some of the birds very fully water, water dependent, some are maybe partially water dependent, but still water is for the survival world very important. So aaj is silsile mein humne water birds kisi liye chuna hai and shortly jo hum dekhe india mein bhi about 18.4% something as per report woodland existing to ye bhi very large number pe hai to isme hum expect karenge ke large number of jo water water birds mein jo biodiversity hai but dheere dheere woodlands disappear hone ja rahe hain disappear but every year losing several numbers of woodlands annually so this is the prime time and WHO already twice they have declared at 2018 already declared further also that 2030, 2030 about 22 mega cities have shortage of our drinking water and NCR Delhi is on the top. But still a city people still we are not very serious about conservation of the water, water bodies, water first and water bodies. Naturally, whenever the wetland, our groundwater level, the recharging responsibility is the wetlands. If no land, how can you consider how long will be there stored? Groundwater will be getting it. So overall, wetland is very important for us. Now again, come to the point that now today this uh, water birds. So simply water birds, four kind of care. Simply, if we have to say, we consider that they provide us four kind of basic services. Those are what are they? Supporting services, services, eco services, regulating services, cultural services. And another one, the four kind of prime services. Again, they have several parameters, different different way. Jo water birds we provide kar rahe. So if agar water body nahi honge, so how can we get the services? How can this ecosystem, aquatic ecosystem, uh, the, uh, the provide us services? How will get the services? So different things will be disrupted from us. So we both sari chiza me milenge nahi. We'll be sufferer from this. Already started suffering because several species already has gone. Several species already extinct. Several woodlands already disappeared. So whatever existing, we should consider to conserve this. Now simply take the example of woodland, small woodlands of National Zoological Park. Because today, this uh, National Zoological Park is organizing this webinar. So I respect to them. I regard to them. They allowed me to speak about this, of the woodland, because last 10 years about, I'm uh, many may, several times visiting the wetlands, they have smaller four wetlands. They have uh, man-made wetland, although that it has the supports the biodiversity, especially the water birds. Is char wetland again? Is me kya hum dekhe largely the water birds? Is me the migratory birds jo aate hai, breeding ke aate that is pinted stock. Wo bhi hamare as per IUCN latest category ke species near the species hai. Jo every year since ages we do not know since how long they are coming. Lot of research already done. But there is small wetland supports their breeding, their stay over here, they are breeding their survival. How long they will stay over here? But large number still their number slowly uh, number fluctuating, number sometimes uh, depleting also. The reason now that wetlands we only cannot consider this human being the uh, for the interruption for this also global global impact. Climate change impact is a bigger issue now everywhere globally. Due to global climate change, also there's a rainfall, everything, a climatic change also pattern has been changing. This um, uh, natural cycle will be disrupted for a timely jisma jo monsoon hona tha, jisma jo ritu ana tha, wo hume disrupt ho raha hai, timely nahi ho raha hai, untimely ho raha hai. Inka pattern bhi badal but overall, iske reason bhi hain human being hi hai. The carbon emission, the global warming, they're all for human beings. But presently, this is a different status a global climate change impact. The global climate change is a big issue globally now. It's got tackle clearly a different government bodies, world bodies, national level body. How to tackle this? This may be in general large number of population. We have no support. Still, people ignoring this, still, we are suffering from this. We have water body, we have impact. Uh, jo human intervention, baki jo ho raha hai, jo global climate change.
इसमें हमने इसको प्रोटेक्ट की हमें बिल्कुल शुड कंसिडर दिस फर्स्ट प्रायोरिटी दैट इफ देर इज वॉटर वी कैन सर्वाइव इफ वेटलैंड इज देयर विल गेट our drinking water ground water riches will be properly purified purification of water and sufficient for our survival and biodiversity to jo char wetland ki baat karu main abhi aa rahe bilkul the final uh, conclusion pe that the, the small for wetland isme resident birds hamesha hota to very good numbers even uh, mr khan used to be long term i think his whole uh, your service period he spent over here so he knows he can share much more than me we are here 10 years i can say my experience about this, uh, the, the four wetlands of uh, the national zoological park but as he shared me that yes there are thousands of numbers hundreds of numbers of migratory birds in the resident species used to be there but now year by year the same thing the global climate change impact because very less number of least number and since last year is surprisingly we are this year no not a single migratory species come over here and earlier also we see about 10 years 8 years the our data that their number is depleting every year but this surprisingly this year there is no water water birds at all arrived this is not only here this this uh, the small four wetlands but if you say consider all over ncr delhi is also the largest wetland also there the nazabgarh jhil this is one of the largest two states ki isme area mein aata hai still there we find the very less number comparatively earlier if you see other prominent some sanctuaries even river jamuna the river and wetland if we consider about 30 years back 25 years back this used to be a natural habitat for resident species as well as the long distance intermigrant water birds so usually used to come from north asia south asia siberian part till the south uh, western part of the europe also but now year by year we find very lesser number less number over there but this year suddenly if you see the all the uh, nsa delhi report come out but only suddenly this we find little larger number of more than 2000 this uh, on the river jamuna but these are only very temporarily they are not uh, 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 this species for the long maybe 6 month 2 month they come very very often as per their food availability and very often they go to some other areas so particular days we got the last number this year that only changes we found it but most of the wetlands we find very fluctuation species diversity bahut kam hai zyada nahi hai and number also their population the total number also depleting everywhere and if i am taking with the example of northern india because several states i do cover this i do monitor and as well this uh, the asian water bird census i do conduct to isme isme finally hum dekh rahe the reason is ki sabse bada problem to aa raha hai that is the global climate change jiska negative impact hum dekh rahe nothing is good positive impact to negative impact ke karan dheere dheere why ki bird life dheere dheere kya impact ho raha hai the impact overall the global researcher global studies and overall studies mein jo uh, we are finding findings output jo getting this is basically that as per climate change because bird life is also natural indicator of the environment because simply the arrival of birds the timing of the arrival we can understand this is the this is in started this is the temperature this is the time is this but that is disrupting now year by year so what we are getting this as a result they are also preferring shortly as per ipccc's report their annual every year their thousands of uh, the, uh, the scientists they are working on environmental issues the report says basically practical also i am also observing studying researching on these issues bird life especially that yes in the country northern india every year that disrupting figure the number depleting uh, lesser number timing if this is example this the present they are due to this reason global climate change impact very they are arrival is very lately because climate has changed we see everyone must have realized after middle of december started feeling cold this climate change started so although that long distance winter migratory birds migrate start sometimes in september onward but this year we find maybe october november little bit numbers minus some numbers of we have seen the arrival in different wetlands but after december only find little bigger flocks because this again the indicator because until the weather changes because why they migrate from the air because this is become until the winter this their habitat becomes very harsh condition they don't get their habitat stay over there the situation they don't get the food other thing that's why they migrate to the other southern parts to the southern asias uh, the countries basically their favorable side because they can survive for wintering for this just to wintering months 
after waiting over they go back to the same so they are indicated they know when is the right time to migrate over there and when to go back usually since march onward climate start changes as usual and they start going back demigration but we are finding now last few years that the migration sometimes with delays also demigration even delays even migration also slow this year very slow migration we recorded lesser number and as per the global report says their migration pattern being changes yes we are also observing here in northern india they prefer short short migration if they migrate maybe 5000 kilometers if after migration be 2000 kilometers they get some suitable their destination the wetland something they drop over there they find suitable the safety is there security is there food habitat is there they do not migrate uh, but prefer for the long distance migration that's all on the reason as per ipcc report and this is practical we are observing so so here example of the national zoological park the four wetlands here we find among four wetlands basically two wetlands now active they are little bit ecosystem functioning are there another two wetlands third one also functioning there kind of other problems there kind of third one is there is water there there is surrounding some kind of uh, other species there really uh, relevant species are there because they are kind of monkeys other kind of disturbance that's why they are they do not prefer safety the bird life there there and fourth one is basically slowly vanishing this become very over uh, thickly uh, the reeds grown over there and hardly their water also slowly in a year by year lot of uh, uh, wetlands are until maintenance or until um, uh, proper rainfall lot of wetlands not naturally also uh, uh, deleting deleting means uh, that is appearing so here fourth one is that's why there is to be a good uh, number of uh, the species to record here so basically out of four wetlands in national zoological park two wetlands still functioning we find there is supported to the bird life but still their numbers slowly slowly number is there decreasing number and diversity apart from climate change also require the local pattern also local some lo local pressures the good rainfall or not that happens over here and these four wetlands basically their Uh, uh, depends on uh, rainfall as well. They are now temporary full 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 phase rainfall cannot depend on over there now. Rainfall pattern also in the NCA valleys other places is disrupting the not timely not proper rainfall shortage of rainfall mostly. So th they have that kind of arrangement. They keep supplying the water there. They channelize the water over there. So these two plants are existing, but the the large number of the supports basically this is painted stock. They come. and for some time mid of august onward they come for a large number of uh, many thousands but that also now slowly slowly their number also become uh, um, we're getting lesser number arrival over there for breeding but still this is continuing this is good number still there and very surprising this we found it that in winter generally their pattern in northern india they breed for mid august means uh, sometimes monsoon mid monsoon onward till uh winter they migrate uh, this breeding is over then go back to this they demigrate to their own destination but and south they starts from the winter onwards to this the uh, uh, till uh, may onwards this become their two in india their two season of their uh, migration and breeding the same species very surprising but here this we find till this winter also that some of the species also late migration or uh, unsuccessful migration uh, their uh, breeding they stay over over here and they go back some become resident also some number not large number but still some resident throughout the year also but this in time they breeding successful breeding they go back surprising this i have recorded over here they may be supported their wetland and winter also to find they are still breeding going on this is surprising but their climatic condition now is full winter mid winter over here but still their good number of they still migration Uh, sorry the breeding is going on still saw there some are still hatching condition some are smaller chicks come out and still they are doing breeding very surprise this is kind of again kind of uh, climate change but they are supportive that way they are adaptive that way in such a cold climate they are doing they are breeding this time this uh, this time i have observed there so this year we we'll find that way that last few years fluctuation number of during a wc because last number by the time they go back Yes, uh, start uh, going from uh, uh, November or December. They go already gone back. But some those are still over at this small number. We get back basically, and those are late breeders, some kind of. But this year we got that still they are newly breeding going on this time in winter. So this year number more than about twelve uh, hundred something we recorded this time. This was a good sign that they have adapted that way. This wetland supported to smaller wetlands that their number increased this year by overall that painted stock. 
but unfortunately no other migratory long distance winter migratory species we recorded this time over here so that's the situation so that's why so overall now government of india uh, ministry of environment forest also they have a for conservation of wetland and water birds they have a big national action plan started 2018 to 2023 this is a pilot project that will be continuing definitely there's very good project that the project named conservation of migratory species and their habitats along the central asian flyway for their conservation basically this is a big project and already in uh, association with uh, bnhs they already uh, identified different wetlands because every uh, the the um, Uh, migratory species they have certain flyway they follow india basically two flyway comes all over world they have eight eight uh, this the flyways they follow every year they follow the they, they go for migration and come back the same the route they follow and india largely the central asian flyway and partly in in south uh, and southeastern asia also and uh, our indian little part covers also east asian australian flyway largely so that's why they considered this uh, project that uh, uh say along central asian flyway whatever this wetland comes on this route and their habitat should be conserved and the all the water birds this is very good project we are supporting for this and uh, uh northern india's several sites already they identified i think the project will be full phase it not is started but still time is there hopefully it will full project will be there and everyone if you support this conservation of this particular uh for conservation of this migratory species i hope in future it will be sustainable wetland until wetland will be there if one day wetland disappears we cannot expect that water birds will go come over there for migration so this is so far the uh, my small um, half an hour my uh, small talk about this that's that's why this wetland is very important parts of wetland for conservation of water birds one of the component you consider over here so that's so far so anything after that uh, any kind of any uh, clarification you can queries we can about 15 minutes time to put over here so we can also have a small discussion So thank you so much, ma'am, and uh, whoever is joining here. So any kind of things, please. Thank you, sir. Uh, now I would like uh, like to request uh, all the participants if they have any query, they can ask to Mr. Roy uh, about the birds, wetland birds, or water birds. Uh, please ask. You just uh, type your message in chat box, and uh, I'll ask your question to the uh, to Mr. Roy. no questions so far anybody is at least about bird life if is this this so popularity about bird watching and other kind of activities about bird life especially but should have some kind of um, any queries they have if really they are good bird watcher or kind of uh, nature lover there is a question sir uh, from uh, miss nisha roy Rai, uh, she is asking how important is to keep the wetland water clean and fresh. Uh, okay, uh, wetland itself is the functioning wetland. It itself that has uh, the one of the functioning their uh, uh, criteria that uh, wetland also uh, um, our uh, purify our water. Our drinking water it recharges it goes down. This uh, underground water that reaches is basically wetland, basically largely, as well also when biodiversity is there. different kind of uh, depends on how rich the biodiversity and the number of uh, the certain species even even bird life also i told you that they are indicator of the environment even this uh, healthy healthiness of the wetland so number of species the type uh, the, the 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 particular which kind of species again indicates that wetland's health and purity so wetland naturally it helps that when biodiversity rich it's automatically this functioning ecosystem means it cleans their water also uh there is uh, another question from uh, miss mansi kumar uh thank you for the insightful talk sir i would like to know your views on what can be done to improve the wetlands and restore the number of migratory species in the wetlands at the zoo 
National Geological Park. She is very, 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 very good question because I also certain thought of to talk discuss with this director, but unfortunately, <laughs> generally they are very busy, and I also sometimes do not uh, get availability there. Yes, very good. My my suggestion was earlier. Here, uh, out of four wetlands, two wetlands still functioning. Your water supply is there, and third wetland also there. Uh, third wetlands, whatever I got the information. That their monkey menace is now as a big problem over there. So bird species are very shy, and every animal, maybe tiger, every animal have maintained certain their safety distance. So that much distance allow for any other animals. Those are there, maybe uh, their enemy, maybe predator, maybe human being also may not be their enemy, but certain distance they maintain. So they are probably as per the report information that the third wetland, apart from two wetlands, everyone knows they have the breeding every year. Now is still breeding going on. The two wetlands everyone can identify, but third one, still their water is there. But no bird at all there. I think two birds we got over there. Only two spot really got not other. At least be many number, a good number of birds is to be there. So as per information, there that monkey, minus the area, it's in in the cities in Delhi or some other. I think uh, in the prime site or city that monkeys are keep increasing in number. They're basically human beings are responsible for this. That their feeding uh, habit we are changing because they are giving ready food available to them. And so blindly faith to this uh, Hanuman, something like our our religious faith, faith and belief. I understand. I'm not a uh, Nastik. I am also kind of optimistic. But the thing is, the way beyond any limit, when exceeding the limit, it it deteriorates uh, their their uh, their habit, their other kind, any kind of it negative way it goes. So here also the number of monkeys every I saw, uh, being seen every day. The people feeding make the feeding habitat. So that's why here by the kind of I I don't think that uh, in zoo that kind of people uh, feeding is allowed. But anyway, some way they are getting some kind of maybe clue something. That's why they are here need kind of control to this open this uh, monkeys. So that third wetlands can be saved that way. So that bird life should be there. Fourth one that is totally being chopped. This is at least very good there. Last some of the species to be recorded over there only. But this year. Not a single one. Last year, a few only recorded. This become lot of reeds that come up over there because it needs kind of maintenance management. Because fourth one is very good wetland. This is because lot of uh, dumping also being done over there, and the water uh, level going down because fully depends on this the rainfall because rainfall is not that much in our Delhi and say Delhi is another northern India. So need kind of their little management because so that clean this all the weeds. Some of this also requirement like typha. Some kind of very good. They're good habitat. Some of the birds, but over is anything over beyond capacity limitation. It becomes kind of uh, destructive. This kind of doesn't support the uh, ecosystem or doesn't support this the bird life and other animals. So here required this excessive the weeds need to clean. My request to ma'am also. Uh, maybe some other day I'll meet you also there. Uh, maybe more talk about this. But simply that uh, need to man maintain this uh, the fourth one. This very good wetland. Basically, it was earlier. Uh, clean uh, not to. Uh, Uh, uh dump over the anything the slowly i think dumping this kind of garbage especially the uh, your uh, abiotic miss uh, your uh, soil extra soil other kind of things which are uh, i think they dumping over there i need uh, please to stop over this and to clean this as well the excessive the weeds over there that has to be clean little bit required later it will automatically automatically come up up to certain extent and what will give it channel is the water if sufficient rainfall is not there is not full, uh, it's a uh, fulfilling filling up this uh, the wetland requires kind of your like other wetlands are doing kind of little channelized here to be channelized because fourth one is very good earlier to record their other species there because first two uh, two wetland basically large number occupies by this pente stock basically and other species to come but another two can be functional i think so it's need little kind of uh, management some kind of maybe introduction of maybe few species uh, in uh, plants also might be helpful and water if water is there If it is functioning some way, I think it will be functioning. It will be attracted again for this habit support the habitat of uh, water birds, and we expect the water birds will be there, resident as well. This might. Yes, please. No voice. I find. Uh, there is a uh, question from uh, Mr. Narendra Kohli. Okay, fine. Yeah, he is uh, uh, pick my nature. Uh, he is yes, from pick my nature. He right. would like to participate and include his members in the conservation efforts 
what is the process how ngos like us can participate and contribute in this project which ministry of environment has started okay excellent uh, uh, this basically uh, although ministry of environment government of india's projects is around the country uh, the several also require kind of ngos uh, the uh, uh, the scientists the conservationists uh, the others good bird lifers uh the thing is they have system because they are uh, doing this in collaboration with bnhs because something has to be done ministry cannot um, themselves can do so that responsibility is given uh this uh, bnh is doing this kind of their process basically that already they have identified several what i think last we have december i think probably we have a meeting also online meeting uh, and little bit started kind of workshop also now the thing is come up on good thing even part of this wetland international also we have a good meeting recently how to already shared that national biodiversity board they are very keen about this that okay very good this is a good sign uh, everyone is supported for this also now they as per the national Biodiv biodiversity board authority they have different state authority board also uh, state level they have already different kind of uh, directions and other so that every state biodiversity board should be active for this and keep continuation with the state coordinators of uh, the asian water body sensor those are already involved these activities around the year uh, different kind of monitoring other things they are the uh, resource person and uh, ministry of environment for this projects also this asian water body sensors and uh, this uh, our activities also recognized they helps the data for this the implementation of this project here they should uh, keep in touch uh, with this what and uh, sorry this uh, your state biodiversity boards also this health data because they are now looking for this that they need kind of cousin which those are working in this with the nicor for the support also and yesterday i received a call from the uh, government of delhi also that they are going to do something to need kind of uh, i was very happy let's see what can be done so they should communicate with the state biodiversity boards of concerned state as well in touch with bnhs that they are basically basically implementation all this thing process they are doing that way that whom to be communicate how to make their kind of little bit uh, uh, kind of training also that how the project will be done how to identification other things this is in process so if they keep in touch with them even me also in delhi base i can also help next with them also so this is the way if they uh, kind of their do contribution and do really uh, to involve with this uh, long term this uh, the national action plan for conservation it will be helpful thank you sir uh there is a question from mr devya prakash uh, he wanted to ask about the major threats and conservation issues faced by wetland birds in delhi a highly populated city having okhla bird sanctuary and najabgarh wetlands yes yes very very true he is practically might be very often uh, visiting and very uh, open eyes is observing that's why this kind of questions very good this is happening so but people are not aware now hundreds of thousands of now the birders basically bird watching so popular now but the thing is conservation is very less i find the people i'm not blaming that but any anyway, i don't know why if they think of it as a passion is a good hobby so until this habitat supports the particular species will be there so how long there will be certain time bound period if people do not support if do not conserve this habitat doesn't support any animal or bird life especially then they cannot see their hobby or uh, photography profession others cannot be also maintain but people should have my request i urge whenever i meet the people my everyone normally communicate that so many birders are there you go there for bird watching one of the very uh, beautiful passion very interesting passion but why not little bit of contribution towards thinking thought of uh, the conservation issues that very least number if large number of is uh, the uh, compare this the kind of bird watches goes every week almost every weekend every day so if they little bit think of our contribution that little conservation they little bit think of and uh, cooperate to the a uh, little awareness to the local people communicate to the concerned authorities that how to do and little bit their contribution i think we can in large extent we can conserve and we can protect this particular wetlands and species also but here in this case now delhi already twice that uh, who already declared to us the world's most polluted city in the world so we should should have feeling uh, we should feel that that should not be third time should declare that uh, delhi in ser is the most polluted city in the world here request that everywhere the large population is the main reason firstly secondly 
kind of awareness now i think population uh, this uh, literacy rate is quite high increasing in the country but i don't know why still people ignore so much conservation issues pollution issues other things and mostly happens the city people basically i most around the country i travel in different states i am involved helping that way the bird life issues other ways so every year more or less i find the city people basically uh, make uh, more pollution the problem now here he is talking his question about the woodland yes oklabar sanctuary against the problem this is jamuna is the most polluted but most polluted city in the world including jamuna also nationally and this every different kind of research studies the laboratory test is found the most polluted uh, the river jamuna not whole river jamuna the stretch passing through delhi 22 km stretch is the uh, world's most polluted river also Uh, most polluted uh, this the water and uh, river uh, sorry uh, this uh, okra bird sanctuary on the last part of this uh, the river jamuna itself is a small forest cut kilometer sanctuary i am also involved with them so this due to one of the reason is this pollution over there and this uh, not so far government uh, the concerned government delhi governments basically the uh, responsibility uh, the, to clean they clean it but it's still not yet done they try so far but not yet done because day by day find Uh, population is so high, so naturally their discharge is so higher. This is very, <laughs> very basic formula. So accordingly, the the cleaning method not yet uh, involved. Although they have lot of places, they drainage about twenty two drains I think pouring into the river Jamuna. This has become totally kind of highly polluted. That's why. But every uh, this uh, ch checking point, the, uh, the the margin point, there is no kind of this treatment plan. All the lot of treatment plant already planted in Delhi. I've seen, but lot of plants not functioning at all. Some are functioning, partially functioning. So that's another reason that pollution will not being controlled. Secondly, this uh, the two uh, wetlands, the uh, Nazarbhar Hill is quite bigger wetland. The very good news that is fighting one organization for its conservation. Last two years, NGT's order just I think twenty first they give a very good order that the, both the government has given direction. It it will be notified. They should notify it. They should give certain restrictions. The very good decision. Certain restrictions. Even AWC also recognize some. I think gone through these all these things. Understand that also recognize part of one of this that like AWC, uh, their population estimate. They should do it every year. That um, in their uh, decision, and every year there are many kind of things. That pollution also. They also to big nalas are joining over there. To big cities nalas directly pouring this. To how much pollution over there? Then the disturbance. This is another issue. The Okla sanctuary, the most polluted, most degraded, most disturbed habitat. Although this is uh, um, under World Land Protection Act, this is a protected area. Not being uh, this controlled that way. It's not being controlled that way. This is the another problem. So while everything is applied there, most I am using most degraded, most polluted, most disturbed. So all parameters comes including. So that's why they are by this year also uh, after our, uh, our this Asian water bird census number little bit uh, one thousand approximately increased. This one species only, but others were degraded. The species diversity degraded. The local species number is very degraded. The reason this kind of the reasons. So that until take care of this, that's why we cannot blame fully government also the consultant because they are the limited number until public the large. Especially, I am telling those those are related to this. Like borders, they should part of this. The other natural land, they should part of this. Those are visiting this Okla Bar Sanctuary, part of this. They should, if they contribute little bit, I think can be bigger. We can up to maximum, up to some extent at least, we can protect this. We can uh, minimize this. Then I hopefully then the number will be the species diversity will be increased. One habitat will be supported. in uh, continuation of this question he has another uh, question mr dev prakash uh, he is asking uh, what are the other major wetlands of consideration in delhi for migratory birds yes yes so every year um, before this um, uh, our asian water bird census this is all over asia so about 27 countries um, all together it's uh, carries out and every year declared the dates this year uh, date was uh, first to 16 basically some cases some of the areas as per climatic condition also will be delays early also happens but overall largely that the uh, schedule uh, prefer and uh, that in say delhi so far uh, seven wetlands uh, so far enlisted that will be every year uh, one is okla bird sanctuary since a very long period river jamuna third one is we added uh, this uh, because it's not very
uh, long back uh, this explored this uh, surajpur uh, reserve forest inside the surajpur wetland this is very good wetland there is some out uh, is a little bit managed also fourth one is dhanuri uh, wetland this is explored i think about 2012 something it was explored mr hari and some other people birders they then the little bit founding finding it this large number of uh, bird diversity especially the state bird uh threatened bird species that saras came so they approached to this uh, up government uh, the council department uh, for snow wildlife they kind of something as per direction uh, gautam buddha nagar concern divisional office there some kind of little bit uh, protection a uh, little bit monitoring something little bit they are doing so that also included we see there but uh, again the problem not want to fully uh, manage it, uh, the protection is very difficult that way this also fourth one is the already national zoological park then it comes uh, another is uh, sanjay lake which was always very good at natural lake it was now a small part is left over that is also under dda delhi development authority but it became i can say the it became entertainment park mostly cities another problem is this the problem everywhere the wetland what were existing that turn into that entertainment eco by name of tourism so it not exactly eco tourism this kind of entertainment tourism that basically degrades the most of the wetland have existing habitat and your uh, uh, this nazamgarh chil now i think after this ngts order probably it has to be do uh, has to be done this that worst protection uh, this uh, they will start for this as per the criteria uh, i think it will be protected then we expect more numbers more thing will be there uh, there is a question from uh, dr manoj kumar uh, as number of water birds is decreasing and the number of black kites are increasing in and around delhi zoo yes yes is it any correlation yes is very good this is although they are two different wetlands although a uh, black kite is not a uh, water dependent bird is some kind of now this this little bit their a uh, little habit to changes we find sometimes nearby wetlands also but it, exactly they are not water birds or water dependent bird but there some some cases we have seen also they are some of the wetland areas also they are around uh, finding their uh movement and uh, the food also here the number of depleting their uh, number of the species the reason is as i told in the beginning that global climate change also one of the prime reason that their migration pattern changing they are they preferring slowly short distance uh, the the their uh, long distance pattern they are deserting that way that um, the, the slow migration happening and some cases uh, what happened last year good late rain mon- monsoon rainfall in october also good rainfall even last this uh, first week of uh, your january also winter rainfall but this that that rainfall some kind of good positive side because lot of wetlands we i have seen even during last 10 years for example not more than more i can say again that dried wetland due to this untimely maybe untimely but yes they revive the wetlands one if dry wetland revives automatically there start some kind of functioning the ecosystem lot of biodiversity appears over the Was disappeared. They appears again. Example, lot of example I can see the UPs. Like first I've seen that the Hasina Pura left Sanchil. They are scattered different woodland. Yes, they have survived because I go different times. They're monitoring other things. They find there yes, and this year oh, we find that way that different woodlands survived. Means newly they are revived. So those woodland lot of species also diverted. That those woodland also. This is also one of the reason as this is some of the woodlands lesser bird or see initially birds over there later they disappear. So they find some better woodland undisturbed better uh, woodland come up. So they also diverted. They find the good habitat for food habitat and stay over their safety. They stay over there also. That's one of the reason. And overall another reason is that disturbance in especially city woodlands are most disturbed by name of ecotourism. They are not true ecotourism. People understand so far. They disturb entertainment tourism. If you simply the word entertainment tourism, their disturbance so high, it degrades the habitat. Their disturbance as well degrade the habitat. Once habitat doesn't support naturally, if my habitat, my room is my my house is disturbed somewhere, that was I have to leave the area. So that's the situation for water birds also. The habitat is degrading condition. So disturbance degrading overall. That's why the number of species, the resident species also degrading now. Oklahoma Sanctuary, other wetlands this year for the report. Number even the residents throughout the year over there. Number depending why the resident is the habitat is degrading condition, disturb. They are not they are not supporting large number. So that's why the number also depleting species as of this. And kite, black kite is very good already. Wildlife Institute of India already are doing kind of studies going on there. 
and i have my observation i have several years i have already done my uh, partial my observation studies that in the cities in the, especially in the cities towns where the large number of every year garbage dumping the from, from home as well other way we are dumping from lot of food particles other things those areas is black cats number increasing because their pattern they are basically uh, the family comes basically those are raptors family basically simply those are basically habit to eat something uh, in catch karke kha jate hain koi mara hua khata hai scavenger some other smaller bigger is the bigger animal smaller small animal that was the basically habitat they are accepted uh, um, uh, families lekin uska care what is happening slowly while getting this the climate change on the second while getting this readily something food they slowly the adaptation happening their food habit normal food habit catching other things that habit slowly there has gone uske prefer nahi kar rahe they easily available food wo baska tukra bhi mil raha hai they are getting other non vegetarian as vegetarian also they are depending on this so that's why you will see one of the garbage points you will find the large number of the kites around this they are uh, they are easily uh, they are doing their uh, breeding also any small trees are there they find because no other predator for them uske khane ke liye koi predator nahi hai so there are plenty of their normally their breeding successful unka koi predator nahi hai secondly they are getting the food so what so that's why slowly their food pattern is being changed so dependent largely they are that readily available foods that's why in city areas town areas where of this garbage dumping so much that area's number is increasing black right thank you sir uh, i have one question what is the status of invasive plants in uh, in wetlands of delhi and uh, are they affecting the bird life yes this is also another question good to your observation yes lot of species are invasive in our country since britishers period uh, about wetland uh, the largely you can see very common and largely see wo hai hamara that is your what i have seen jalkumbi in hindi mein that this is very first growing plant this invasive plant it looks their flower very nice even this plant also now using that way that some of the areas those areas uh, the government kind of ngos uh, kind of handicraft items for self employment different way ho jata hai cultural different cultural things banate hai cultural festival karte hai that kind of some of the un useless uh, the weed we can say that which also can be used for their kind of same plant different kind of handicrafts can be made even uh, from this you can make if you utilize that it can be good our um, khad bhi banta hai this even another way also from dry dry leaves of the dry this uh, what i seen also different kind of handicraft also banta hai different other states some ngos already doing their kind of self employment they doing but other way here in ijnali but who will clean this but here this culture the system is not in the cities that they will be collecting automatically their number will be depleting and there can be so much uh, this uh, extending over there but there is not lack of only the thing is like okhla bar sang their only management utha ke clean karo and bahar feko that is the way so very expensive and very difficult throughout the year to uske liye big budget ki bhi zarurat hai secondly wo maintenance nahi ho pata hai so this will whatever very quickly water surface ko chok kar dete hain and once the touch with water level shallow once touch the root on the ground then becomes totally wahan pe hata nahi sakta until you take it out so that species partly also help in cleaning water also they absorb so much if uh, with this dirty water it's also some of extent also clean the water but the disadvantage is this is also another advantage is also is a vegetarian some of the vegetarian bird life like swans geese they are basically veg vegetarian like you here in seri delhi and seri delhi you will find the bar headed geese the grey lag geese they are totally 100% they are the vegetarian so they eat the small kind of grasslands now lack of grassland around this because people of a lot of this uh, encroachment they go to the uh, agriculture areas the people are also annoyed they kill them food poisoning other that's also happening thirdly they are what available this also what are in their good food so they are suffering also good food but overall this is until managed this is very first growing so this again uh, the what what once what land is choked means naturally there's no water what i cannot see to so species other species cannot survive they can't suitable for them and not proper functioning of the wetland also that's the reason it's also in various species up to some extent okay beyond this it's a disaster
Thank you, sir. Thank you for all the uh, information you have shared with, with us. Uh, we have uh, our director, ma'am. Uh, she joined us and uh, I would like to request uh, ma'am to give vote of thanks for this presentation. Hope Mam is connected. Uh, good evening, Mr. Roy and Riyazi, or uh, all the uh, volunteers and the wildlife enthusiasts who have attended today this uh, webinar on uh, wetland conservation. Uh, first of all, I would like to thank Mr. Roy for giving such a de detailed information about wetland conservation and also highlighting on the current problems being faced by the uh, aquatic as well as the avifauna, uh, aquatic birds and uh, the as such complete ecosystem of the wetland uh, due to uh, the present environmental threats as well as uh, the basic threat of tourism, which is the so-called, uh, it's called eco sensitive tourism, but it is turning the other way around. So we need to be, uh, first of all, I would like to ex uh, extend my heartfelt gratitude for, to Mr. Roy for spending such valuable time and uh, uh, sharing uh, the queries also of the participants here. And I would just like to uh, make a small uh, request on this day that uh, the wetlands form a very important part of our ecosystem. And it's one complete whole. We can't neglect one part and keep on focusing on the only the megafauna, such as tigers and lions. But we need to uh, focus on all the uh, species as a whole, so that the whole ecosystem is intact and we play a role in their conservation. Yes. And uh, NZP, as a team, looks forward uh, to move hand in hand with the other volunteers and wildlife enthusiasts who look forward to give a, a contribute for wetland conservation in NZP, as Mr. Roy deliberated on the four uh, in, uh, issues of wetland uh, in the NZP. Uh, one of the issues was, as you mentioned, that uh, putting up soil and other debris in one of the wetland, which should not be done, and removal of the weeds. So again, this is a big task because removing the weeds uh, is a repetitive exercise which is taken up uh, by the management here. Uh, but the issue is it keeps on coming again. It is typhoid, it uh, spreads very fast. So we need a whole uh, PPP mode on this where we have a public-private partnership and we can uh, do it on a regular basis, maybe with the volunteers or we can form a wetland uh, conservation uh, team here who can work in this effort. Uh, and we can take it up ahead and maybe one year later when we celebrate the wetland day, we could be satisfied that little effort we have done towards this thing. So, right, my yes, yes. Uh, with this, I would just like to uh, say thank you. Thank you very much. And we look forward for your support. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much.